I'm coming off the Hamilton Street Bridge right here. Man, that's a genius building right there. UW Medicine and Gonzaga Health got together. Oh my God, that's where I'm at. Nah, damn, I told Sacred Heart. I was on my way. I'm going to go to Sacred Heart. They're waiting for me. Uh, all right. That would have been a good one to go to last night when I tried to go to Gonzaga and find some pretty little girl that was in the Johns Hopkins house. I was going to ask her to hook me up and, uh, you know, get her pretty little friends to be rich forever on the, on the feeling in my heart. So, I don't know what, I don't know what this is. You know, this is special. And until it stops, or until I get my kid back, I don't know. I don't want this feeling to stop, but I want my kid back. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to get him back, you know? That means I've gone to help every person that I want something from so far, and I said, what are the steps that I need to do to get what I want? And they all have given me answers so far. I need a job. I need my driving abstract. I need to wait about five more days, eight more days till my driving record is completely clean and then I can do anything. I can get a driving job. I'll go get a CDL and drive a truck. Do anything. Don't care. Once I get the freedom of a free license, I'm a free man for the first time in 20 some years and he's going to do something great with that freedom. Never, never disrespect the flag again. I'm so sorry to the military men and women in this country that I pissed on by sitting in prison for 11 and a half years. That's a shit bag. But what you're looking at is a man that's so sorry for that in itself. For that, I do this. Because that's a shit bag thing to do. For the, for the sacrifice that I've seen in prison. The men and women who fucking lose it. And, uh... Don't get to, you know, have the chance of their fair shake. They snap. They went back to Viet fucking Nam, where they fucking had to kill women and children and strangers. And uh, you put them in an aggressive situation, and the guy snaps like he does right now because he's had enough. Thank God I never been to Vietnam or nowhere violent, because that would be real bad. I've only been a peaceful fun loving fun to be around just a pussy but that dude is dead the pussy is all the way gone fellas I don't know what to tell you if you think you can beat me at anything that another man has previously done prove it